hey guys and girls welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel on this beautiful day how you guys and girls doing all my beautiful friends how are you hope you're doing great uh please check out the description box as always drop a like subscribe if you like the content as well um and here you go presented for you here beautifully in white is a clear paint sheet and i'm going to show you what we're going to work on today all right today's topic we're going to start off working on the tile map and I know a lot of you wanted to see that and you're excited for that. So we're going to work on that. And I'm sure the YouTube title probably gave it away. So it can't really surprise you here. But what is a surprise is the structure we're going to have. So we're going to have a 2D tile map uh, with an in internal layer structure. So it sounds more complicated than it is. All it is is three arrays in one. Okay, we're going to have one array called the map. And this array is going to be, I hope you can see this, uh, a just a simple vector array like this. Okay, you can imagine it as a box of boxes um, horizontally laid out like this. So I'll just make one box here. You can imagine more boxes. And each of these boxes are going to have a, uh, a uh, whole column full of rows uh, in in it basically and these also have their own boxes and each box is going to have a tile in it so I'm just going to say tile in here and tile in here so this is a columns and these are rows now columns means that this is in in the x axis right so each of these boxes is a column so column 0 column 1 column 2 column 3 all the way up to the maps X limit okay which is probably pretty big because we're gonna have a open world RPG so it's gonna be pretty large um, and then you have the rows so each column has its own rows so a column might have rows maybe 5,000 rows depending on how many yeah how big your map is gonna be so th those all each are gonna have a Y value so um, the map tile at position 0, column 0, and row 0 is going to be the first top left grid thing. Okay, so you can imagine this is a large grid with a bunch of things in it. Just just a large grid. So 0, 0 is top left. Center might be uh, 2,500, 2,500. So you'll be at center. So that's kind of how that's going to work. Now, the other thing is each of these... And now, this is the same tile. That's what I'm trying to say. This tile and this tile is the same tile. Um, so what I'm going to do as well is each tile is going to have its own array, okay, which is your Z limit. And these are layers. So this tile in here, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to remove tile from here because that's confusing. It's not actually the tile. This is all going to hold the actual tile, which is in here tile um, like this okay now there are columns each column has a, an array of rows and each row has an array of um, the z-axis layers and I'm just gonna name these layers layers so you might have layer 0 then you might want to put another tile on top of that to make it look cool. Maybe a tree that might be on layer one. Layer two might be something else. Layer three and so on and so on and so on. Um, and basically, yeah, that's how it's going to work. So we're going to have a bunch of layers. Now we're going to have to work with how we're going to render the player in between the layers. But we'll work with that later. I'm sure we'll figure it out. Uh, but this layer system might make it a little easier. Otherwise, we'll just have the first layer populated. Uh, and, and trees and stuff might be objects. It might not be in this tile map in this sense in the same way. Um, but the layer system might work for just the ground level to make it look nice. And then the player can walk over that and so on. But we'll, we'll figure that out. So basically, we need a tile class. We need a tile map class. Um, and then, yeah, we can create tile maps. And then we need to be able to edit them. So I hope this made sense, somewhat sense. Uh, and we can just start off by working so we already have a tile class now we don't have to think about that too much I'm gonna create a new filter um, 
source files. Let's make a new filter. Add, add, new filter, map. Okay, I'm just gonna call it map. And I'm gonna add a new class here called the tile map. Tile map, virtual destructor, no base class. Boom, we got a tile map and we're happy and ready. Uh, okay, as soon as uh, my dumbass external hard drive decides to load, so there you go. Uh, we got the tile map. Very, very, very nice, very nice. Um, still no pre-compiled headers, but don't worry, that will be that will be here someday. We'll make a whole video about that. Uh, but for the tile, let me just copy this if not define define. Put it in the tile map here, because all I have to do is just add the map after this. And there you go. Then obviously we have the CPP, and everything's cool. Now I'm going to include tile.h here because we're going to use obviously tiles uh, also I'm going to include a lot of stuff from um, a lot of these things into tile tile.h okay so I'm going to include a lot of these things I don't need that F stream might need that um, vector stack map Probably not stack and map. String stream might need, file stream might need for loading and stuff. GUI might not need that. System window, audio network might not need that. So that's some, some stuff we're gonna need in the tile map. And I created the tile and included it here because, or we can make the tile a private class in the tile map. We could, we'll figure that out as we go along. It won't be that hard to implement actually to do that. But, um, but yeah, let's just start like this, private, now the little time we have left in the video, I just want to make sure we can uh, we can do this this structure that I that I said that we would. So the tile map will consist of a std vector of a tile. Nope, actually not right. Std vector of a vector. Std vector of a std vector of a tile you get that shit damn that is crazy right now to get, wrap your head around this what the hell is happening i'm gonna put some spaces in between those uh, and i'm just gonna call this map okay uh, and what is happening is that if i put the spaces in here you will see what belongs to what. So there's is a one vector of a vector of a vector. So the final vector in in this is going to be the x, y, and the layer position, and that is where you find your tile. So your tile is pretty much tucked in between th in, inside three vectors. So to access the tile, you need to go through x, y, and then the z coordinate. Okay, so that's how that's gonna work. And if we wanted to push a tile to the tile map. Uh, what we would have to do is we would have to do this. First of all, we'd have to create the map, and to do that, we would uh, we would need a unsigned. Um, let's see. We could use a sf vector to you map size map bounds, or should we say map size? Because um, that would we just call it size actually. Uh, max size, I guess, and then the yeah, I guess I guess we could do that. I guess we could do that. A max size, then we would add all these things in here. Also, I would need a grid size, a grid size U. Okay, once this stops loading, uh, I hate, I hate, I really hate this hard drive now. Um, unsigned map. No, grid size U for the unsigned grid size, the max size. And this is just some stuff we, we, we're going to use now. So let's just say if we go into tile map, let me close everything else, close all but this, and then open tile, no, tile map.cpp. I'm just going to put that under map, tile map. Right there we go. Okay, tile map.cpp. I'm going to say this. Grid size U, let's let's give it 50. This 
um, max size dot x equals say we create a 5000 large this max size dot y equals also 5000 so 5000 times 5000 that's the size of the map then I would do this uh, you're gonna have to make a for loop here so this map dot um, resize okay uh, no sorry about this um, map dot push back now what does a map the first vector contain well that's the that's the columns right so each column is gonna need a oh sorry about that uh, each column first of all I'm gonna have to let me look at this so the vector contains a bunch of vectors um, let's see map is a vector that contains the y how many columns they're going to be so std vector um, std vector of an std vector okay this is where the shit is tile uh, an empty one of those okay so we're gonna have to push back that um, this many times so the for loop is gonna go from zero to this max size dot x so we're gonna push back that many vectors of vectors and then within that for loop we're gonna create another for loop and we're gonna say this max size y okay now you're gonna have to change this i to a k or whatever you could actually have this as an x let's just do x uh, and then we're just gonna do y here okay and then this map at position x dot push back now I don't know if this push back is immediately active but we will see push back then we need to push back a vector of tile an empty vector of a tile uh, std okay uh, let's see so it pushes back the y and each let's see std vector yeah each position is not going to have a tile but it's going to have a another vector in it so I'm pretty sure that works um, and then for Z so since this is a uh, let's see tile map then we also need a map size and we're gonna need a unsigned layers all right and layers might be let's say we have this layers equals five then we're gonna have to push back those vectors as well um, let's just think here so the first vector pushing back a bunch of these a bunch of these oh wait um da, 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 da. so at x y i would get a tile that is not what i want um so each x position is a vector of a vector now each y position is a vector okay then I have okay okay I got I got it I got it um, this layers this map at position X and at position Y dot push back um, an empty tile okay so basically that's what's gonna happen and then we have a a map XY and that has a bunch of tiles in it uh, in order basically
Okay, so this is how we will initialize our map, kind of. At least it's a start. Okay, at least it's a start. We'll see. We'll we'll try to figure this out a little better, make it look a little nicer. Uh, but for now, this is this is okay. It's a good start. So we'll keep working on this in the next one. All right. Thanks for sticking with me. Sorry for being a little slow. Uh, I just had to think a little bit there. Um, but yeah, try this out. Play around with it, and yeah, I'll see you guys and girls in the next one. All right. Bye bye.